Okay, hopefully this isn't TMI. <laughs> this is the white knit slip thing that I made to go under a few of my dresses that are thin or um, knitted and it's a cotton knit. I'm really, those of you women out there who are menopausal understand that not wanting to be in like nylon or anything, I want something that's cotton and breathable because you know, hello, hot flash. And this, that's my Fitbit, the little black shadow. So anyway, that's the okay. slip. This is the blue knit shift that I made yesterday with the slip on underneath. And I have to say, I also have a proper bra on, so it fits a little better. I mean, the darts give it a little bit more shape, but I'll show you the other one in just a minute. I don't think it, um, I think it's just fine without the darts and the darts are, I forgot how much of a pain in the neck darts are to make in a, in a knit. So I just, yeah, I recut the pattern and I'm happy with to have it without them. Um, but this is a really cute dress. I can see getting a lot of wear out of this, even though I wasn't super crazy about this blue pattern when I bought it. Okay, this is the other one I just made today. This is a feather print fabric. We can get closer to the fabric print that I really like. I know the phone's in the way, but there you go. Um, and this is it with the slip on underneath. And this is why I decided to make the slips. I do own a couple of other dresses that are thin, but this, this knit is pretty thin, but it's also drapey. Now this is recut without the darts in the bust line. I just added a little extra volume across where I know the bust line was going to be instead of putting the darts in. And I think it turned out just fine. If it's very similar to the lead to the other one, I really like this dress. I can see making it, uh, in a bunch of different fabrics and getting a lot of wear out of them, especially in the warmer weather, so super cute. I should also say good afternoon. It is Sunday. I'm pretty sure it's not morning anymore. Nope, 12.29 p.m. lunchtime. I got the dress I just showed you done, um, despite the fact of protests from Lily Bean because she doesn't like it when I'm upstairs. I don't know what it is about upstairs. Anyway. But I got it done, um, which was my goal this weekend, was to get the two slips and two dresses done, so I got that done. I am going to leave the sewing stuff out for a while because I've got um, some of the shorter um, undershirts to do um, in black and gray. I think there's a blue one up there cut. And I have one more um, uh, other um, t-shirt thing cut out. It's our, They're our all, all already cut out, and I want to just get them made, so there's no point in just having them sit there. So I'm going to work on that this week. That's going to be my goal this week is to get those done. Which means Lily and I are headed to the airport to pick up Grandpa. So I'm thinking Lily likes to people watch. She's been doing that since we got here. Interesting. I would say good morning, but it's 1.02 p.m. So there's that. It is Monday, August 9th, I think. I think. Um, I am headed out to the grocery store. Our house cleaning lady is here. She's really going through a rough time right now in her life and her business. She's by herself again, which I know because I've done her job and I know exactly how hard that is. It's really hard. Um, we have a big house, which is why we've hired her. But yeah, it's, anyway, and there's other stuff going on, which I won't get into because it's not my business, but um, yeah, I feel for her. She's a super sweet lady. We okay, I don't have the right color of under shirt on to cover up, you know, we've discussed this before, the cellulite, and nobody needs to see that 56 year old flabby backside in my stretchy pants. But I would normally have a black one on. But here's another top I just got done. There was something on my iron. Oops, where are we? Right there. So unfortunately, I've already got a spot on it of something. Looks like looks like adhesive from some fusible interfacing. So gonna have to try to get that out. I have to do use the Google and see how to get that out. Holy cow. But it's cute. I like it. So one more top done. Woohoo! I was thinking my gutters really need cleaning because uh, let's see. There we go. See that? Only it's not just me. That's the neighbor's roof. 
Holy cow. That's a lot of rain. I would say good morning, but I think it's afternoon. Let's see. Oh, not quite. Good morning. It's 11.53 a.m. Uh, Tuesday, September 10th. Don't get excited. I'm looking at the computer. Uh, I've been up here um, since I first guzzled down uh, this morning's coffee in a protein bar. I'm getting the last of the sewing done. I got um, four more tank tops done, the ones I wear under a lot of shirts like this one. Um, we spoke already about them, you know, covering up the flabby backside in my stretchy pants. Nobody needs to see that. Anyway, uh, I've gotten used to wearing them. Uh, I'm not, when I was younger, I wasn't a modest person and I'm not necessarily wearing them for modesty's sake, but I've gotten used to wearing them. They don't make them anymore, so I started making my own. So there you go. There you have it. Um, so I got some gray ones done in a blue one. I got this one gray fabric that's like gray different tones of gray, which is cute. And then I got this blue and then some plain basic gray. I have a lot of black and white. Um, I thought I'd do some colors. I do have some more of the pink fabric that I uh, worked on yesterday on the top that I got glue on already. I didn't even get to wear it yet. It's already got glue on it. I'm gonna just wear it the way it is. It either I do want to give you all some tips. So if you're going to be doing any garment sewing and you're working with knits, if you're like me and you're making some of these tank tops and you want a lace edge and you're looking for a good stretchy, wide, pretty stretchy lace in colors other than white, so hard to find. I have an Amazon um, link for you though. I'm going to put it in the description. And also, um, stay tape. So if you have done any sewing with knits, you know that, first of all, without a serger, it's a lot more challenging. It's not impossible. I do have a serger, and if you have one, it's much easier with one. If you don't have one, um, but you know, you see one at Goodwill, or you get a used one, that's a great way to get one. I got mine years ago on the Finger Hut payment plan. I did, we didn't have any money. We were broke. I really wanted to make baby clothes. That's when I bought it. That's how old it is. Anyway, it's a Simplicity 4-thread Easy Lock. I don't think they make them anymore. Uh, anyway, um, even when you use a serger around things like the neckline and the armhole, the knit tends to stretch out not only while you're sewing it, but as you wear it. You all know if you have t-shirts or tank tops that at some point the necklines just get all stretched out of crap and back. Um, stay tape helps. Now you can use knit interfacing and cut it into thin strips, which I've done and that works. And I only usually want like a half inch strip. It works, but, um, it's a pain in the neck to sit and cut a yard of in interfacing into half inch strips. I found this stay tape. Um, this is fusible, although I don't generally fuse it onto anything, but it is fusible. Um, and um, you can sew, sur I serge that into the neckline edge and the armhole edge before I hem anything or put, if I'm putting binding or anything like that. And that really works really well. Now, I haven't found it at the store. I only find the knit interfacing by the yard. They don't ever have that stay tape, knit stay tape. Like, I don't know what the deal is. So I order it again from Amazon. So I'll put some links in the description below for you. I usually have, for most of the things I've been making, white and black work just fine. Um, for colors, I usually use the ivory. So it does come in the three colors and I usually have all three colors. So anyway, I think that's it now. I promise, I'll be back. I lied, that's not it. So I'm going to start putting an unedited version of the vlog over in Patreon for those of you who are support, supporting me over on Patreon. It's going to have um, unedited um, clips of me sewing if there are some, painting if there are some. Usually for the vlog on YouTube, I cut some of that out and I shorten it so that we get like 30 minutes or less, um, which I think for a vlog is probably doing really well. Um, if, but I'm going to have a long version. It's going to be um, um, over in Patreon. And if you want to see that, you got to be in Patreon. So anyway, if you want to hear me mumble and 
go crazy and, you know, might be inappropriate things. I don't know. <laughs> Just the real me, unedited, unfiltered. All right, I'll be back. So I was out getting the mail and there's some in interesting cloud formations. I want to try to get pictures of if they're still out there. My phone was in the midst of still trying to download vlog footage for last week because I have to edit that today for tomorrow morning. Anyway, trying to do 10 things at once and sometimes you just can't do that. I don't know why. The universe needs to let me. All right, let's go see if we can get some clouds. Okay, we got them. I've been taking a lot of pictures lately of the sky and clouds. I feel a small series coming on of paintings of expressive skyscapes, cloudscapes. Yeah, it's brewing back here. I'll share some of the photos with you all in the vlog. Next, here we go. say if you're a supporter of mine over in Patreon you're going to be able to download the, pic the pictures of the skies that I'm looking at not only adding to my color inspiration book but um, using as inspiration for some paintings coming up uh, you'll be able to download them I'm gonna put them over on Patreon for free so anyway I'm a little out of breath all right, let's go back inside and make some paper clips. So we're just out for our evening stroll and I glanced over, not only do we have pretty sky colors again, but we have all this like steam or fog, fog. or mist <coughs> clinging to the ground. Hmm. Interesting, but yeah, pretty, pretty colors, look at that. All right, we'll be back. And yes, you heard him ask where Bigfoot was. Where's Sasquatch? Holy cow. Don't mess with the Sasquatch. I have a nephew. He has a YouTube channel. No, I don't know what it is, but evidently he goes hunting for Bigfoot. Yes, he's probably crazy. He Just... had a picture on Instagram of a big footprint. Huge footprint, about that big. Huge. Ay, ay, ay. Yes, my family's nuts. Oh, look at all this. Ay, ay, ay. All right, I'll be back. I think it's morning anyway. I think it's just before lunchtime or right around lunch. Anyway, 
It is Wednesday, September 11th. Um, remembering September 11th um, when the World Trade Centers went down uh, in memoriam. So as always, usually. Anyway, we also had Bambi and Baby Bambi come by this morning. I caught them on the ring camera, so I'll be putting them in this week's footage. If you're watching this, you've probably already seen that. Um, don't tell the neighbors. I'm going to go put out a bowl of deer corn. And good morning, everybody. Did I vlog yesterday? Because I have no idea. Today is Thursday, September 12th, 8.49 a.m. Yes, 8.49 a.m been up since like a quarter to six, which is my normal get up time. Um, I haven't been sleeping super well again. I'm having one of those weeks or two that come now and then where I just have quite a few days in a row where I'm not sleeping very soundly. So then during the day, I'm just exhausted. Thank you, Mrs. Menopause. Yeah, that's what I'm blaming it on anyway. Okay, as you saw, I did a couple of pages in each inspiration, or I should say one page in each inspiration journal. It's a slow going process. Each thing's got to dry before I turn the page. And I did a lot of gluing up of images in both books last night. So there's quite a few pages to catch up on, but catch up I will. Um... <laughs> Friday morning, 11.25 or so, 11.30. Friday the 13th, oh joy. Um, <laughs> I spent the morning doing the social media thing uh, right away this morning. Um, I got some interesting direct messages. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say about that. I deleted them. Um, <laughs> I did some cleaning and reorganizing upstairs and moved some things around. I was looking for things and realized I had blank journals in a few different places, which isn't cool with me. I can't find stuff if I do that. So I put everything in one place in the closet where it should be. And then I used the, and some of the journals, small journals were on the, the small bits bank, which they don't really need to be there. They're in the closet now with the other blank journals. And I moved some um, bits out of the closet and into the empty bins so I've got some fibers and trims and canvas tags and things now in the bins where they're easily reached and I can use some of the hanging baskets that are next to the work table for tools which is the whole arrangement is going to work really well for me so uh, at least I think so 
So I spent the morning doing that and also getting rid of a few things as I was sorting and moving things around. I found things that they don't speak to me anymore. Nothing wrong with them. They just don't speak to me anymore. So they went into the basket under the table, which is now full because it already had fabric scraps and uh, wonder under fusible. Um, wonder under is like a glue. Um, there's two big rolls of it in there. There's a bunch of stuff in there. So that, yeah, so the box is full now. So I'm going to have to sort it, clean it, pack it, and then I'll list it on Etsy. There's a bunch of random stuff in it, some blank journals, paint chips, like lots of randomness. So if anybody's interested, let me know, DM me and ask. Um, we can talk about cost and shipping and all that. Hey guys, it's Saturday morning, September 14th. We have Bean with us temporarily. Where is she? There she is. We're puppy sitting while her parents are out doing some stuff and when they come back, we're gonna go drive over to Mount Angel to Oktoberfest, so I'll bring you with us. It has just been a quiet morning. We slept in, I got some laundry done. You can hear the machines going. Um, yeah, just re kind of a relaxing morning, which is okay with me and hubby. Um, so yeah, <laughs> anyway, um, I know you all have noticed I have like a uh, rash, rashes going on periodically on my face. So it's a psoriasis type thing that started happening after menop I, menopause and the asthma thing happened. Um, it is, especially this one, I know an allergic reaction because it gets itchy. Um, and um, people were telling me, including doctors, to moisturize more and take an antihistamine and I kind of wasn't listening. But guess what I've been doing and it's getting better and it actually feels better. So yeah, moisturize antihistamines <laughs> anyway um, so we're gonna go over a drive to Mount Angel we're gonna go to Oktoberfest we'll bring you with us and uh, yeah should be a lot of fun all right I'll be back guys it is Saturday evening it's just before 10 o'clock it's been a long day um, but we had a lot of fun at the Oktoberfest in Mount Angel Oregon when we went to go leave unfortunately there was a fatal car accident on the road out of the area uh, we didn't see the accident but we were there shortly after and I don't know who it was, but whoever it is, I put my condolences out there to the world uh, for their loss because someone did, it, like I said, it was a fatal accident. Someone did pass. Uh, it didn't. It looked really bad, people. Anyway, despite that, we had a great time spending the day with the kids. The Oktoberfest was super crowded. Oh my God, now I know why we went. Uh, we got lucky, I think, last year when we went on Sunday that it, weather wasn't as nearly as nice. It wasn't as hot and because it was Sunday, wasn't nearly as crowded, so we know better now. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. We'd go back again next year. Um, and then after the kids left this evening, we went out and did some late night grocery shopping because we're off early in the morning to my parents to help them with some DIY and do some things, spend the day with them. And I think I think my dad's going to change the oil and poly car while we're there. My dad for those of you who don't know, is a jack-of-all-trades, including a auto mechanic and California brake specialist. 
Uh, he also is an electrician and uh, yeah, all around great guy. He's a very handy guy. <laughs> So we're going to go see them tomorrow and he's going to help the kids with some DIY. We're going to help them with some DIY. So, you know, it'll be a thing. But I didn't want to have to do grocery shopping after all that was done. So we did it tonight late. We had dinner at like 8.15 or something, which is really late for us. We don't normally do that. But anyway, it's been a long day. We're ready to call it quits. I need to turn the computer off for the evening because I think it's still on. I know it's still on. And yeah, so that's it for this week. I hope it's been a good one for you. It has been for us. And uh, yeah, don't forget to check out the video description for any relevant links. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below. Um, if you want to follow me on social media or support the free content here on YouTube or over in the Facebook art groups or any of that, you can check my link tree list of links, which is also in the description, and um, you'll find a whole bunch of things for me. Instagram, Twitter, my Etsy shop, my Amazon affiliate store, Patreon link, like there's a bunch of stuff, so check it out. Do what works for you. And uh, that's Fred coming up the stairs. And uh, anyway, so we hope you've had a good one. We have, and... Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and above all, go out and have a great day. Have a great week. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.